In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. As we gather for the Eucharist this morning, uh, in this ordinary time season, we gather with confidence in the strength of God's saving mercy always flowing out to us. Lord Jesus, you are our light and our salvation. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the first book of Kings. Ahab sent to all the children of Israel and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, how long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. The people, however, did not answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls. Let them choose one, cut it into pieces, and place it on the wood, but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood, but shall start no fire. You shall call on your gods, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answers with fire is God. All the people answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, choose one young bull and pr prepare it first, for there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the young bull that was turned over to them, they prepared it and called on Baal from morning to noon, saying, Answer us, Baal. But there was no sound and no one answering. And they hopped around the altar they had prepared. When it was noon, Elijah taunted them. Call louder, for he is a god and may be meditating or may have retired and may be on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until the blood gushed over them. Noon passed, and they remained in a prophetic state until the time for offering sacrifice. But there was not a sound. No one answered, and no one was listening. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. When the people had done so, he repaired to the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He took twelve stones for the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the Lord had said, Your name shall be Israel. He built an, honor, an altar in honor of the Lord with the stones and made a trench around the altar large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the wood, he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and pour it over the burnt offering and over the wood. Do it again, he said, and they did it again. Do it a third time, he said, and they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar and the trench was filled with water. At the time for offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things by your command. Answer me, Lord. Answer me that this people may know that you, Lord, are God and that you may have brought them back to their senses. 
The Lord's fire came down and consumed the burnt offering, wood, stones, and dust, and it lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people fell prostrate, uh, said, the Lord is God, the Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Please join in the psalm. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, <clears throat> for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, O Lord, you are my God. They multiply <clears throat> their sorrows who court other gods. Blood libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. Keep me safe, you Lord, you are my hope. O Lord, my allotted portion and cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is a lot of drama in that first reading, isn't there? Uh, telling us a story about, uh, in a dramatic way, how God gets the people's attention with that offering being consumed with a fire. And finally, the people acclaim together, the Lord is God. When they experience, they witness the great dramatic things that God has done. Similarly, God has done dramatic things for us through Jesus in giving him to us to share our humanity, to teach us, to die for us, to be raised up for us, to be taken up into heaven for us, to be our mediator, to be our intercessor. So we, like the people of old, acclaim, indeed, the Lord is God, the Lord is God. We have seen it, we know it, we experience it. Mindful of God's concern about our good, let us pray.
for our church. May the Holy Spirit help us in never ceasing to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to all the corners of the earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may God write upon their hearts the first of all commandments as they guide their people in their daily lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For prisoners, for people, persons incarcerated wrongly, and for political prisoners, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community here, especially those who experience doubt, may the Lord's grace enkindle hearts of steadfastness and courage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our beloved dead, may they soon meet God face to face and live in his kingdom forever, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, God of power and grace, hear these prayers we offer this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, who is almighty and ever-living. O Lord, accept our offerings, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord God, almighty and eternal. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all of the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to stand in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. O Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Bernard our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As the Lord Jesus himself has taught us, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Let us share a greeting of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the one who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O Almighty God, grant that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth to glorify the Lord with our lives.